Hello, Mrs. Malay here to read more of Restart by Gordon Corman. Uh, remember at the end of the last chapter, Chase found out that he is kicked off, kicked out of the video club, and he's really bummed and disappointed about that. So now we're going to hear from Joel's sister, Shoshana, her perspective on Chase. Chapter 22, Shoshana Weber. I must be the stupidest person in the history of the world. Sure, I get straight A's in school, but obviously that doesn't mean anything. All it proves is I know how to study for a geography test. As a judge of character, I'm an F minus. I let that jerk, that alpha rat, dupe me into believing he was different, that he was actually a nice guy. Well, Leopard never changes his spots, and that goes double for a scheming lowlife like Chase Ambrose. Falling off a roof, having amnesia, big deal. It doesn't mean that you're not a rotten person today just because you can't remember being one yesterday. I can't even face my poor brother, and not just because his eye looks like it sustained a direct hit from a cannonball. It's all my fault. I'm the one who told my parents that the coast was clear and it was safe for Joel to come home, and I ended up bringing him back into the same line of fire that almost broke his spirit last year. I could kick myself, except for the fact that my to toes are pointing in the wrong direction. I can't get anything right. It isn't just that Chase has gone back to his bullying ways. It's at first he convinced everybody he was a new person. And we went for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Not just me, but the video club, the teachers, Dr. Fitzwallis, the whole school. That must have been his plan all along. To lull us into a false sense of security before pouncing one more time. What a plan it was. To ruin Brendan's video, wreck the music room, attack Joel, and blame the whole thing on an imaginary fire. Chase was behind it from the very beginning. From a strategy standpoint, you almost have to admire it. It sure succeeded with flying colors, and Joel has the colors to prove it. Black and blue, mostly. I wish I could take my video project and flush it down the toilet. I'd rather lose all that time and throw away the best work I've ever done than have anything linking my name to Chase Ambrose. Compared to what's happened to my brother, the National Video Journalism Contest is about as meaningful as counting snowflakes in a blizzard. There's another reason to hate myself, that I would let my ambition to win a lousy contest make me so blind. I never should have allowed myself to be pushed into partnering up with Chase, no matter what Brendan and Miss DeLeo said. I don't care that the project is on a really great and interesting guy. It wouldn't make any difference if we got an interview with all the signers of the Declaration of Independence brought back to life and reformed into a boy band. It just isn't worth it. For the smartest kid in school, Brendan's even dumber than I am. He's got it in his thick head that there's a chance Chase might be innocent. I don't know, Shoshana, he insists. It was Aaron and Bear who busted up the shoot. Chase could have been trying to stop them. Oh, sure, I return. And he just happened to show up at exactly the right moment. He didn't show up, he argues. I sent Kimberly to get him. Joel said you didn't send her for Chase. They did. There was a lot going on, he admits. It's hard to remember. I think they sent her first and then I did. Why couldn't you go yourself? Because I was stuck in a tuba, he replies, as if it's the most natural thing in the world. Happens to everyone, right? Listen, I tell him. My poor brother has a technicolor face, courtesy of the guy you say might be innocent. That could have been an accident, a tug of war with a fire extinguisher. Maybe Chase was trying to protect Joel. I roll my eyes. Let him protect somebody else. When it came time to lie his way out of the blame, he was right there with Aaron and Bear. That's all the proof I need. I know what it looks like, he agrees reluctantly, but doesn't Chase deserve the benefit of the doubt? Listen, I challenge. If what you say is true, then Aaron and Bear set him up and nearly got him kicked out of school. And where is he this very minute? At football practice with the same Aaron and Bear, who should be his worst enemies. What does that tell you? Well, it's not like he can come to video club anymore. And in the cafeteria, I persist, who does he eat lunch with? The football team. We won't let him at our table. We're protecting Joel. That's the real meaning of protection, not cold cocking someone with a fire extinguisher. I'm so mad at that jerk, and you should be too. He's like a cobra. He lured us in until we trusted him. Then he struck. And now he slithered back to his old life as if nothing ever happened. Joel may be the one who's bleeding, but the attack was on all of us. And he agrees. Brendan knows I'm right. However much he wants to convince himself that Chase is innocent, 
The whole club knows that we're better off without a guy like that. So how come his name keeps popping up again and again at our meetings? That camera work looks a little shaky. You've got to keep it smooth like Chase. Yeah, that's a cool shot. It was Chase's idea to film it in worm's eye view. The kid's a mumbler, but you can hear the audio clearly because Chase lay on the floor and held the microphone just out of the frame. Can we please stop talking about Chase Ambrose? I explode. He's not a god. He's just a person and a lousy person at that. He belongs on the football team with the other muscle heads. Actually, he be belongs chained to a slab of concrete at the bottom of the Mariana's Trench. But I'll take the football team if it gets him away from us. Joel has been silent throughout all of this. Now he speaks up. Am I the only one who's noticed the video club has gotten kind of lousy? What are you saying? I demand. He shrugs. We all watched Warrior. It's fantastic. Nobody's doing that kind of work anymore. I'm furious. You think that's because we don't have him? My brother looks at me with his one good eye. Just because I hate Chase Ambrose doesn't mean I fall to pieces every time someone mentions his name. Go ahead. Talk about him. I can handle it. This isn't last year. No matter what, I'm not going to be Chase out of town again. We slap him on the back and pound his shoulder. A few of us even cheer. It almost reminds me of the football team, although I'd never admit it. Miss DeLeo gives him a big hug. Maybe I can stop beating myself up for getting mom and dad to bring him home from Melton. The very worst happened, and he's okay. I look at my little brother, 14 minutes younger than me. He is growing up. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.